Thank you, Ewan. Yes, it's Feel Good Monday indeed. Now, over the last few weeks, Mitchum have been taking up presenters and celebs to experience some great moments. Now, as the saying goes, life is either a daring adventure or nothing at all. The famous Kango Caves consist of a series of hidden chambers cut deep into thick limestone rock layers, forcing the brave adventure tour adrenaline junkie, like our very own Ewan, into leopard crawls and some challenging twists and turns to get themselves through the tiny spaces in the different chambers of these magnificent caves. 29 kilometers outside Oturun lies the spectacular Kango Caves. Here you'll find dripstone caverns, vast halls and towering formations. This is something that I think every South African should come and do because it is considered a national treasure. It is part of our history. It is beautiful. I'm looking forward particularly to the smaller spaces. I think it's a little bit daunting. So I think even for me who's uh, adrenaline driven, I am a little bit scared because it's tight spaces. I, I, I don't know, I don't know. That's a little bit scary on my side. The caves are well over five kilometers in length with only certain areas open to the public on the heritage and adventure tours. Do we know how these caves are formed in the first place? We actually do. It's, it's a, an entirely different type of cave to what you would expect to find. We don't have the forming of the cave through flowing water, but rather through chemical erosion. So it was still standing water over a period of 20 odd million years, eventually leaving us with the space. And I'm sure the formation we're talking about, obviously the stalactites, stalagmites, yeah? Stalactites, stalagmites, flowstone formations. And then of course there's the adventure side. We're talking about the devil's chimney, the letterbox, the tunnel of love. Yeah, I was keeping that as a surprise. Um, <laughs> but yes, we, you do get that. You actually get to crawl them through the formations that you've already seen. Some incredibly tiny spaces, small, but great fun. Really, that's, that's something that has to be done. So far, we've seen some incredible formations, some beautiful sights, especially in the first and second main chambers. But this is where the adventure part starts. And in my opinion, the fun part is what. The adventure tour covers seven chambers from the cellar-like cavern called King Solomon's Mines to the confined spaces of Devil's Chimney. My favorite part was the tight spaces. Even though the fact that tight spaces freaks me out a little bit, I think the Devil's Chimney, I mean, it's famous. I mean, everybody knows about it. The Devil's Chimney. Some serious, serious climbing and contorting of the body. Just getting up here, getting your foot plates and right. Gonna hold yeah. on to whatever you can. You have very, very tight squeezes that you have to climb up into. Just try to twist and contort your body all the way up the devil's chimney, out the other side as well. The tunnel of love as well, literally called the tunnel of love because you get hugs from all around you. So those two parts specifically was, I think, definitely my highlight. Where it gets scary is the fact that the floor at times are very, very slippery, so you need to watch your footing as well, um, just trying to manoeuvre um, through these tight spaces. I mean, you, you can actually, actually injure yourself quite badly. But um, if you take it slow, I mean, nothing to worry about. Awesome experience all around. I will recommend it to anyone.